Hello Youtubers, Alex here with another tutorial. In today's video we are going to work with some masking, masking effects and we are going to try to achieve the effect that the video editors of Man of the Woods music video of Justin Timberlake used. So to see what I'm talking about I'm going to show you a short clips from the music video and here is how the effect is going to look like. So we're, we're trying to copy the effect that is going on the video. Justin is walking here and you can see that this tree is coming through and right here at the end of the tree the effect goes and we're on to the next scene where Justin is walking on this tree under the canyon. So basically the tree is our transition from one scene to another scene. This effect is used uh, many times in this uh, video. So you can see here is another example of it. So this scene and tree and to another scene. And here's the third scene where they use that effect. Again, first scene Justin is dancing here. Now here is the tree and we're going to another scene. Okay, in order to do this effect we're going to need two clips. So the first clip where you have your object. I have a tree for the purpose of this video because I'm going to copy the right that effect that is going in Justin's video with a tree and another doesn't matter what kind of a video that is going to be the second scene so first scene tree and second scene this time lapse of um, ocean tide so in order to do this we are going to click on the first clip that we're going to work with so left click and we're going to use this free draw bezier and click on it. As you can see we have mask path, mask feather, mask opacity and mask expansion showed. So basically now we are going to work with, with the masking and this uh, free draw bezier and we are going to unzoom the video so right here where it probably, probably says fit on your screen click 10%. Now we are going to draw where we want our transition to start. So this will be the starting point of our transition. So nothing's going there, the tree is still. And now we are going to click all these four toggle animations for the mass pad, feather opacity and expansion and click invert it. Now we are going to click on this selected max forward for one frame. You can see that the tree is showing a little bit so we're going to move the keyframes so they cover the space that the tree is giving us. Okay. Again we're going to click to the forward one frame. In case you don't want to work on the small screen for better effect, go to this sequence, double click and now you will be on full screen. Now you can adjust the size, for example, on 25%. Click and we are going to adjust the space that the tree is giving us. To go back to the effect, just double click on program and again one frame move not is happening here one frame the tree is showing a little bit of space and basically we are going to do this until until the uh, whole tree is removed from the scene so you can see that the effect is working already and we are going to do that and we are going to put this 
second clip on the video track one and that is how the effect is going to work so you can see that here the effect is already showing for the part that we work with you can see and here is that video okay guys so i'm going to do uh, the uh, whole effect with masking all the way to the end and i'm coming back in short <music> Here's the effect. So, starting from the field the tree and right to the ocean tide sunrise time lapse. Okay, I admit that I missed the tree here. I thought that that was the part of the tree, but actually, it was the sun, sun flare that makes me travel. But uh, you get the point, and maybe you will try and show me something from your work and I will see what have you done and you can see that uh, I used a lot of keyframes to do this effect so you can see mask pad and I have a lot of keyframes in order to do this effect so every other frame when I click on the forward one frame I every move is selected as a keyframe and here is how I got the effect. So thanks for watching guys. I'm really hoping that this tutorial helped you. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment and I will see you in the next one.